Welcome back, guys. We are finishing up this awesome day for Safe and Sober. We've had a beautiful time here. Kurt, how do you feel? Man, I'm glad it's over. It was a little stressful, but um, it really did go off well. I had some awesome co-hosts. So. Oh, thank you well, so thank much. You. you made it easy. You it told us so what fun. to say, and that's what we did. Yeah, that's well, good. you didn't follow any of my script. <laughs> well, we tried. <laughs> yeah. Did you raise a lot of money this morning? We did. It was a huge crowd, lots of money raised, selling tables, and then we shake them down a second time when they're here today. So yeah. uh, don't know the total number, but I think it's going to be record setting. <gasps> really? Did you get all the outside <gasps> people's totals in? Yes, your studio audience uh, came up big with yeah. uh, silent auction. So, uh, we were plugging it because we kept talking about this QR code that was right over here yeah. above yeah, my did shoulder. A nice job with that. Somewhere in this vicinity. <laughs> I don't so know where weird. it is. Technology is so strange, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Especially the day we live in. Uh, so now that we've had this event, is there anything else throughout the year that you guys do, or now that you've had this event to raise the money, now you? Yes, thank you. We have another big event called Coffee Fest uh, in the in the spring. Um, it's fall now, right? It yeah. is fall officially. Um, yes. Yep. Yeah. So um, I don't have the date off the top of my head, but you know it's a chance for everybody to come together, try coffees from uh, all of our local coffee brewers, um, and you know donate to Safe and Sober again. So that'll be cool. Maybe we could have you guys come out. Well, maybe we could work do, that out. I do love coffee. Yeah, Jeremy does love I do coffee, love coffee, and sometimes I can use it. So. <laughs> Coffee. Just, you know, his whole vibe. <laughs> Throughout the day, yes, he does. Yes, so thank you. Uh, I've learned a lot more. We've, mm -hmm. we've talked to a lot of people today. We've learned more about the organization and what it does. And, um, yeah, I, I haven't been in the loop for a long time about some of the things that are out there. Yeah. Uh, so informational. It's been really, really great learning. And thank you for what you're doing. Your, your little idea has turned into a huge, huge help for our community. Thank you. My pleasure. It, it is uh, taken on a life of its own, uh, but that's because it's important yeah. what we're doing. So you said, you know, we're in all of Missouri schools now and in 32 states. Yeah. So does each state have their own Kurt Larson? I wish that were true. <laughs> <laughs> or do you have to handle everything? I uh, wish I wish I had time to go to every school, mm -hmm. too. But, uh, you know, it's a it's a video based uh, program at its heart. So it's cool. We can spread it out. Oh without uh, Kurt Larson being everywhere. So. Mm -hmm. But you're right, we need a champion in every state, yeah. whether it's a lawyer like me or a TV personality, so mm -hmm. that's next. I have a question about that, like in the schools, is this like um, something that kids have to go to or do they sign up to go to, how does that work? Yeah, it began as me going to assemblies with my PowerPoint and they have to come to the gym and mm -hmm. we've evolved uh, as a world, you know, they're not doing a lot of assemblies these days. So it's a modular format where they can do it in a classroom, teachers are given a study guide, they can do it at home if COVID keeps them home. Right. Um, so it, it's really an amazing program, the after school programs like the YMCA, yeah. they can play it in a small or large context, so we, we can do it all. Really. I'm curious too, when you said going to schools and the assemblies, how much are the, uh, the school counselors involved with this program? I would assume they'd have a, a big part. Very involved. In fact, we go to their convention every year to remind them this program is free, it's available to them, and uh, yeah, they're, they're the ones in the trenches that are helping our students deal with the coping challenges of today's world um, and helping, helping them not turn to using drugs, mm -hmm. alcohol, tobacco products. So, uh, you know, they're parroting our same messages and, and we arm them with the information they need to make it interesting to our students. Yeah. What percentage of the school actually goes to the program? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's hit and miss. Sometimes schools really can engage uh, and, and sometimes depending on who, the, who is leading the charge as an adult, um, the students don't, but we have pledge rates. These are students committing to a lifestyle of staying drug and alcohol free of, 70, 80, and 90 percent. So wow. our wow. students are, are buying into this. Yeah. I love that. That's so good. Now, yeah. so Kurt, let's say somebody at home is watching but wants to donate or has kids of their own. Where can they go for more information? Maybe to donate, but even find out how can I talk to my kids about this? Because yeah. it is uncomfortable sometimes. It is. It's a tough conversation, and I'm glad you asked. Our website, safeandsober.org, um, has resources for parents, including that very thing, how to start the dialogue yeah. about drugs and alcohol in a way which they'll be receptive to. Um, you know, kids, they are, as they get teens, still the biggest influence in their life. And on these issues of experimenting, they really need us to say, I, I'm drawing a hard line and I expect this from you. Um, because I love you, not because I'm just trying to yeah. put my thumb down on it. Yeah, I'm not trying to, you know, just 
you know, make your life boring or, or right. I care about you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Kurt, yeah. thank you so much for today. We appreciate it. It's been months and months in the planning, and now we can say mission accomplished. Mission That's accomplished. Right. We did it. Feels good. How was that breakfast? It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Dozarks Fox AM. Have a terrific Tuesday.